This is what some would call North Oak Park. I've been here mostly for all intents and purposes, a lot of my uh, childhood and adult life. This was Joe Deb's playground. It was hustle and bustle. It was a lot of people, there were businesses, um, it was diverse. It, it almost reminds you of the Harlem Renaissance. We're getting a tour of this neighborhood through his eyes. Right on that corner of where you see that building with the red and white, uh -huh. that used to be a house right there. Oak Park is Sacramento's oldest suburb and was developed in the late 1880s. It started as a working class neighborhood with European immigrants. By the early to mid-1900s, 35th Street was a popular shopping area serving people from Curtis Park, Land Park, and other residents before the highways were built. Ginger Rutland spent a lot of time there with her family. There was a grocery store there called Arata Brothers, and that's where mom did the family shopping. There were dress stores. It was lovely. Before Cal Expo, Oak Park was home to the State Fair. It was something you looked forward to every year. Uh, it was beautiful. Starting in the mid-1900s, Oak Park changed. When the west end of Sacramento was cleared for redevelopment, it forced thousands of people out, many of them people of color. One of the few options they had to move to was Oak Park, since it didn't have race restrictions. Neighborhoods with race covenants did not allow people of color to live or purchase homes. It was easier for them to move there. And so they moved there in greater numbers. And by 1960, uh, Oak Park had like the second largest uh, black population census tract after Del Paso Heights. Oak Park started to experience a lot of changes during this time that some say would lead to its downfall. They built 99 on the Curtis Park side of Oak Park and then Highway 50 cut Oak Park off from the very affluent East Sacramento. So Oak Park was this, was wedged in this triangle. People didn't need to go through Oak Park to shop and it forced businesses to close. After the highways were built, in 1967, the California State Fair moved from Oak Park to Cal Expo in the Arden Arcade area. The impact was devastating for the community and all the people who relied on thousands of fairgoers every year. Many stores closed and people lost their jobs. Many of the people worked there. The parents had jobs as uh, working in the stands as uh, cleanup folk. On top of all of this, California was going through a major budget crisis and former Governor Ronald Reagan cut funding to health services like mental health and welfare programs. Oak Park now became the center for all of the problems from the West End. Civil unrest in the 60s was also centered in Oak Park. A neighborhood activist group, the Black Panthers, had their headquarters on 35th Street. In 1969, on Father's Day, police raided their headquarters. Jesus Hernandez, an urban sociologist in Sacramento with a PhD from UC Davis who grew up in Oak Park, said news coverage at that time instilled fear and made businesses move. This was uh, at a period of time where the concept of race was a fear factor. And so there was this public fear. And how we reported things was actually stoking that fear. Uh, we reported the Black Panthers as, as you know, people of violence. Some say the riots after the Father's Day raid destroyed what was left of the business district on 35th Street. When I came back to Sacramento in 1971, um, Oak Park was a sad place. Most of the businesses were gone. The businesses were boarded up. Although some say that area will never fully recover from the divestments made over that 20-year period, there has been changes in the last few years. New shops, trendy restaurants, and some say it's kind of like the Oak Park they used to remember. I've seen the good, the bad, and the ugly come through here. And so to see Oak Park being revitalized, I have no problem with it because, again, when you have a, a, a healthy community, okay, then you have jobs and then you have people who are trying to, trying to make it. Uh, public safety uh, comes into place. But with these new businesses and new life, it's also pricing some people out. It's something Debs is worried could happen to his family. I wish everybody the best, but not on the backs of people who can't afford to not do any better.